This winter has certainly been a wet one. So today's product review is something that most riders have considered, a front mudguard. If you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I've had my mudguard for a couple of months now. So I thought it would be time to share my experiences with you. This is a review of my size medium RRP Enduro Guard. First, let's get the basics out of the way. This type of mudguard is a commonly seen design on a lot of bikes. It's lightweight, easy to install and only costs around £5. So to try it out seemed like a product with a low commitment level from me, so I thought I'd give it a go. Installation is quick and easy. When I bought it, it came with four zip ties. I poked them through the holes in roughly the right positions that I thought would work for my bike. You do have multiple hole options to choose from depending on the type and size of the bike you have. With the zip ties in place, I got the guard in roughly the right position and loosely tightened them. At this point, I went for a quick ride just to make sure that it was properly fitted and nothing was rubbing anywhere. Once this was done, I then snipped off the end of the zip ties and it's fitted, simple. At this point, it's important to say that these guards come in a variety of different sizes and colors. I'll leave a few links in the description for you guys to take a look at a couple of them. For most of my rides, I use a chest mounted GoPro. I'm forever wiping the screen due to mud and water splashing from my front wheel. By having a front mud guard, my aim is to help stop some of that spray and leave me a little cleaner and drier after a ride. I've been using this mud guard all winter and it's been a muddy one, so how has it performed? First of all, after every ride, there's plenty of gunk under the mud guard, so it's clear to see that it must be working. I've definitely noticed a reduction in the amount of spray on my face since having it. It's also been a welcome addition when making small river crossings. Although I've noticed a change in the amount of splashback, I still get sprayed by plenty of mud from the front wheel. And more importantly, so does my camera. Now, I know that no mud guard is ever gonna completely stop all the spray, so perhaps I was expecting a bit too much from a five pound piece of plastic. To make a bigger impact, you can buy longer mud guards that will catch more spray. And perhaps for my use, I should be looking at one of these more permanent types of guards. So, as a summary, if you're deciding whether to buy one of these, look at it this way. I'm definitely keeping mine on my bike. As I said, the underside is covered in mud so it's definitely doing its job. It's lightweight, easy to install and only cost a couple of quid. So it's not exactly a big investment. I hope this video was successful in shedding some light on my experience with this front mud guard. However, if you don't like any on the market, why not make your own out of an old milk bottle? I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.